in the previous lab we mentioned the watchdog timer. We were jumping backwards, but we were only jumping backwards for 10 loops of two rungs. Think about it like this. It takes X number of milli or microseconds to execute each one of those two rungs. It was rung one and rung two. If you jump backwards and loop through there 10 times, that's the same as having 20 rungs. Two rungs repeated 10 times is the same as, and actually it's not exactly the same because remember that rung one was only true every, every other loop back. But the point is, the reason for looping backwards was to avoid having 20, 20 rungs of logic or 10 rungs that each one executed. In, in this case you've got two rungs. One of the rungs is a loop back and then the other rung is looked at and executed every other time of 10 executions. However, if you were to go to say 100 loop backs or 200 loopbacks, you could have enough loopbacks where the logic takes longer to execute from rung zero all the way to the end statement than what the watchdog timer allows. So the purpose, purpose of a watchdog timer is to fault the processor if you start a scan of the program file and it gets hung up in there for a length of time greater than what the watchdog timer is set to. As long as we were doing jump to label backwards and we had a backwards running loop that we could play with, we decided to go ahead and include some watchdog timer emphasis in this lab. So this is still the same lab that you were doing before. We labeled a watchdog timer because it was a good opportunity to include it. So what we had you do was we had you open up data file S2, lock it on top, and monitor the maximum, the current, and the watchdog set point. Right now the set point was set at 50. Notice that these are all times 10 milliseconds. So the maximum, 1 times 10 milliseconds, would mean that the maximum scan time was 10 milliseconds or less because we cannot split the value. If the uh, maximum scan time that actually occurred was say uh, 16 microseconds. It's still going to say 1 because that's equal to 1 times 10, 10 milliseconds or less. We're not doing fractions here, no decimal fractions. Notice that the current shows a lot of times 0. The watchdog is set at 50. Well 50 times 10 is 500. 500 milliseconds is half a second. So what was the maximum scan time? Was 1 times 10 milliseconds. Then we had you take and change uh, source B to 1000. Now there's two ways you could have done this. Uh, what I'm going to do in my little demo is would probably change source B to a integer register. That way I can change it online so I don't have to go online, offline, download and keep going back and forth between uh, in the run mode and in the offline programming mode. So anyway, we had you bump up the less than for source B in run 2 to 1000, which means that this puppy is now going to loop back quite a few times. So you increase source B to 1000, you ran the logic, then what was the maximum scan time? 280 milliseconds. Remember it came up 28 but it's 28 times 10. 280 milliseconds which is one-third of a second. Then we had you edit source B in rung 2 to 2000 and run the logic again with S2 open and locked on top. Well, uh, <laughs> you got the red winky. It folded. However, when you looked at the maximum scan time it's still uh, probably said 28. Now it may not in this screen capture, but it probably said 28. However, that was from the previous execution, not the current. 
and if you open, if you drop down the list, went to the error, it said the watchdog timer expired. Refer to, and then it gave you some place to go to look for more information. So increasing the loop, the loops from 2,000, source B equals 1,000. Because remember that if source B equals 1,000, it, it actually is executing twice. Or there's two loops because B3.1 toggles back and forth between true and false. Remember, we have two add instructions. So when it was set to 2,000, N720 incremented to 1715, whereas N721 incremented to double that. So if you look at S2 locked on top here, it says maximum 7. Well, if you look at current, it says 50. That's a timeout. Okay, so 1000 for a value. Um, set for source B worked out. However, 2000 didn't. It was too great an increase to allow the scan to finish and even record a maximum scan time, scan time before the watchdog timer timed out and the processor folded. The maximum scan time shown here is the previous scan, not the scan that timed out the watchdog timer. But notice that the current scan time is 50, a timeout. This value 1715 is an indication of how high a value that N720 can reach without timing out the watchdog timer that is set to 50 or 500 milliseconds. And remember that rung 1 is false on every other scan. The total number of loops was actually 3431. So again we've used these add instructions First of all, to capture how many times that the logic was actually looping through because we couldn't see. It was too fast. In this case, the logic actually stopped functioning when the processor timed out the watchdog timer and folded. Entering a value in N731 less than 1715 would allow the logic to finish without a timeout. I changed source B from a constant to a variable so I would not have to go offline to change the value. Now you see I have 1700 for N731. So as long as N720 is less than 1700, it's going to loop back. So I'm doing 3400 loops total without folding. And you can see here the maximum is 49. The watchdog is set at 50. That's cutting it pretty close. So if you do have some logic and you want to execute it many times and you don't want to fault the watchdog timer, you can either limit how many loopbacks or you can increase the watchdog timer. I don't know if I would recommend increasing the watchdog timer because you may have other logic that if you went more than half a second with re-scanning it may not give you the results that you need in your process. Because remember, when we're stuck in this loopback between rungs 2 and 1, none of the logic in the rest of the program is actually getting scanned. So if you're watching inputs that might be changing two or three times a second, you're liable to miss one of those and your results won't be good.